Hello, dear learners. My name is Amir and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about future tenses. We are going to head towards our destination of tenses. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then go ahead and subscribe to it. And press the bell icon as well so that you never miss the latest updates. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we will try to explore the definition of future. What is future? Specifically in English grammar. Future tense is used to express actions or states that will occur or exist at some point after current moment in time. So any action which is going to occur after current moment in time. For example, if somebody hasn't arrived yet and we say he will arrive, he will arrive. So what does it mean? It means that this person hasn't arrived yet. This will indicates future. So he will arrive means that somebody is going to arrive in future after current moment in time. This is about the definition of future. Let's try to understand some aspects of future be in the video and I'm going to provide you some practical examples as well so that you can grab the concept better. The first aspect of future tense is future simple. What is future simple? It is used to describe actions that will happen in future. Very simple. The actions which will happen in future, which are going to happen in future, that is future simple. It isn't that rocket science. Very easy. Actions that will happen in future. Let's suppose this time I'm teaching you, but after this time I have to go to somewhere. Let's suppose I have to go to market and I will tell you I will go to the market. I will go to the market. I will go to the market. So I haven't gone to the market yet, but I'm planning to go in future. So I will. Will is something which expresses future. So since I haven't gone to market yet, but I am planning to go, I'm planning to visit it. So that is why I'm saying I will go to the market. This is the definition of future sim. Let's now try to understand its format. The format of future simple is very easy. You could have related the format of future simple with this example. Let me provide the format here below this example so that you can understand it more easily. Let's break this example down. I is a subject, right? I is a subject. Plus, there is something new, will. Plus, go. Go is the first form of verb. So, V1. This becomes the format of future simple. We broke the example here down into the format. Subject plus will plus V1. Instead of will, you can also use shall. I shall go to the market. I will go to the market. 
Isn't it simple? So we broke this example down into the format and we got it. It's very easy. Now take this format and try to make some sentences on the Sam. Here are some sentences I will try to make. He will become a cricketer. He will become a cricketer. He is a subject. Will from this one become first form of verb. Second example. They will win tomorrow. They will win tomorrow. Again, subject will win is the first form of verb we will travel to uk next month again v is a subject will one among these two travel First form of verb. I shall leave for school tomorrow. I shall leave for school tomorrow. Again, I is a subject, shall, one among these two, leave, first form of verb, and rest is what you would say. This was about the format in examples of future simple. I hope you understood the concept and liked my video. I also hope that you have subscribed to my YouTube channel as well. So in the next video, we are gonna talk about future continues until that, stay blessed, stay hard, and keep speaking English.